Now, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Well, it's a quiet night right now across Central Illinois. By this time tomorrow, we'll probably be like, whoa. What's been going on with the weather today? Uh, we're going to try and walk you through that here for the next three minutes. So hang on, because I think we'll have to do that before all is said and done ourselves uh, with things going. We're at 38 right now. Actually, right now, we're at the coolest part of the night. Temperatures are going a little backwards here tonight. I expect them maybe to drop a little bit more here, but for the most part, it should be on the way up. So we will wake up warmer than we're going to bed tonight here. Also, after 4 a.m., some showers will move on in. The reason temperatures go up is that south wind is picking on up here. So by tomorrow morning, a lot of us in the 40s. Some of us might already be at 50 here and will stay there with 40s and 50s through midday before then temperatures drop. So these highs here are likely late morning into the early afternoon falling temperatures in the afternoon into the night. Let's first talk about the chance for rain and storms here. Strong south winds are also in place. Of course, rain going to hold off though some spotty shower activity 4 to 7 a.m. here out the door. The main event to me sticks out to being 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. You'll see here there's a little activity out ahead, but this line right here is that strong front coming on through and there'll be a quick change in wind direction as that comes on through. Perhaps a few rumbles of thunder. Also a quick downpour of some rain in our area and here we go. One 32 now starting to push it through the Indiana state line. We'll watch and see if some cold air can catch up in the backside and perhaps mix in a little bit of grapple, maybe a little bit of snow. I don't think that's going to be a big deal here. I think more than likely we'll see after 4 p.m. some isolated showers move on through. That might have a better chance for a slight wintry mix than 4 to 7 p.m. Stay with me because we're not done yet then. After 7 p.m. tomorrow night, we may see some spotty snow showers come onto the region Thursday night into Friday morning. Not much in the way of impacts expected. They'd be quick bursts of flurries and snow showers, uh, much more isolated in nature. Not a widespread problem here. And then Friday morning, really on down. Let's just say this first. I don't expect severe weather. There's a lot of wind shear. We got the cold front giving us a lot of lift. We're missing out on instability, though, so that keeps this from being a bigger issue for us. But there could be some thunders for a thunder rumbling, perhaps, as the storms come through tomorrow. Again, thunder chance probably 10 a.m. till 3 or 4 p.m. there. When all is said and done, I think we'll at least get a half inch of rain in most spots here. That'll be about the average. Some spots towards I-70 could get a little bit more. We'll see exactly how that ends up, but a nice drink of rain for all of us here. Now the wind. There it is, that strong south wind tomorrow. Wind gust uh, late tonight, tomorrow, 40, 45, maybe an isolated 50 mile an hour gust out there out of the south. The front comes on through. Those same numbers then come from the north and west, and that's the cold air that's spilling on in. That wind comes down a little bit on Friday. That wind change then, look at this. Will feel like the 50s by the afternoon and evening. It'll feel like the tens out there, the teens. And Friday morning, single digits below zero with those windshield values. So, right, a lot going on over the next 24 to 36 hours here with this front coming on through. But then things will quiet down a little bit for the weekend. We'll moderate things out a little bit here. Notice we still got these up and down swings with things happening. Check this out though. As we get to next week, 51 on Wednesday. Currently, our Christmas Day forecast is 56. We'll see if that has to go up anymore. Uh, that's what we're sitting at now. A rather impressive warm surge of air coming in. And to think of all the Christmas weather, all the snow weather we've had here, uh, the next week's going to be more fall or spring like pick whichever side of the equation you'd like to be on there. Here's your 70 forecast. Again, we spent about 80% of that time just talking about the next 36 hours here. Got some rain coming in, some thunder activity, then temperatures are dropping, wind chill values back down below zero. A lot happening. You can get the latest on the WCI3 weather app. All right, Jacob, thanks.